Hi guys, it's Kim here. It's another beautiful morning. I hope you're all safe and well. Now, I've seen lots of things on the internet, or on social media, and I've had people contact me about adders. Now, adders are the UK's only venomous snake. And they're a, a snake that I get quite a few people contact me about because people are quite worried about adders, about how dangerous they are. Now, I love adders. I'm lucky enough to live five minutes away from a population of adders. So I've been studying them for the last 10 years from a distance. Now, they're protected because actually their numbers are dropping. So we can look at adders, but we can't mess with them, we can't touch them, we can't move them, we can't disturb them because it's illegal to. But adders are fantastic. They're probably one of the most misunderstood snakes around and certainly one of the most misunderstood UK animals. Now I thought in this video I would show you uh, some footage I took of some adders a couple of weeks ago and also maybe some photos and also then just show you some snakes which have similar sort of characteristics or they can demonstrate their natural behaviour. Now we're seeing them about now because it's springtime and we've got beautiful sunshine, longer day lengths, the ground's warming up. So the adders are out and about doing what adders do. So uh, like I say, a short video, let's learn a little bit about adders and then hopefully people won't be worried about them because they are amazing creatures. So let's start with this footage that I took a few weeks ago then. that footage of an adder in the wild. Now I'm joined here by Willow and if you're very observant and you've noticed you may have spotted there's a snake just down here hiding underneath the logs and the bracken. Now it isn't an adder I'm afraid because obviously adders are protected you're not allowed to mess with them or disturb them in any way so this is actually a western hognose snake and this is a snake I use quite a lot in schools and when I do talks and things to show people what an adder is a bit like because they're very very similar they have a lot of characteristics that are the same they move in a similar way, they're quite slow, they have similar scales, similar colours and they're a similar size. They're also what we call sexually dimorphic, just like an adder. So what we find in this species and in adders is that the males and females are slightly different. So in both species the male is much much smaller and the female is much 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 bigger. Now in adders what we also notice is that the females are often a brown colour and the males tend to be a dark brown or almost black. And with all adders, you will notice that zigzag marking from the head right along its body to its tail. Now the zigzag is actually perfect camouflage. And you can see if you look at the bracken, you can imagine the bracken, that pattern, which is the zigzag running right down its back. And that's what the adder relies on, camouflage. So more than other snakes, some snakes tend to sort of like disappear off. Adders tend to sort of like sit and rely on camouflage, which is sometimes where the problems happen because if a snake's camouflaging and it sits very still and then someone keeps walking towards it and it doesn't disappear down a hole or sliver away, then sometimes people can tread on them. Having said that, there has not been a reported fatality in 20 years and adder bites are really uncommon and if someone does get bitten, they're just treated in hospital, it's a very mild reaction and they tend to be absolutely fine. So it's not something to worry about but with all snakes we always say if you see one in the wild just look at it enjoy it uh, and stick to the footpaths and then you'll tend to be fine now these guys love the sunshine just like adders um, adders are actually known as heliotherms they can flatten their body to absorb the heat and they love sunshine so they tend to come out in the warm sun so that's why this time of year there's more of them around um, they tend to warm up once they've got their body heat they'll then disappear and hide away because they don't want to sit out any longer than they've got to because a bird might predate on them or, or anything really so they tend to warm up and then hide away they're fantastic snakes now willow if i hand this hog nose to you tell me how does its scales feel rough. So this is a snake just like an adder that has what we call a keeled scale. So it's a ridge running down the middle of its scale which makes it much rougher to feel. So other snakes sometimes have a smooth scale whereas adders and hog noses have what we call a, a keeled scale. Here, got her? Yeah. Okay, she's a lovely snake isn't she? And she's just yeah. sniffing you. 
She's lovely. Now, Hognose is actually impersonate a really venomous snake. So they impersonate a snake called a prairie rattlesnake. And they can even rattle their tail. They can even puff, puff their bodies out and hiss. But you can see they're really used to being handled. And they've got those lovely markings. There you go. Willow's doing a great job handling her. Now, if I show, be, show you maybe, should we try and show them a picture of a grass snake? Yeah. So grass snakes tend to be one colour. They tend to be green or brown. They tend to have a bright um, yellow flank right by their neck. They have a big round pupil because they're out and about hunting for frogs, fish, um, small mammals, things like that. So they're amazing snakes. Um, they tend to have a very different feel because they have a smooth scale. Now I told you hognoses impersonate rattlesnakes. Would you like to see a snake that feels a bit like a grass snake that impersonates another snake? I'll see if I can find one. Now, if you've ever seen me in any of my shows or a library event or something like that, I quite often bring this snake. This is a milk snake. Her name is Elsa. Elsa the milk snake. She is what I call a wiggly squiggly snake. And that's a bit like grass snakes. That If a milk snake comes across a person, just like a grass snake, they tend to sliver away. So they tend to disappear down a hole. And if I put her here, I don't know which way she'll go. She may go towards the camera, she may go away. But you can see they are more wiggly squiggly snakes. They move much quicker. They have a, a smooth scale. And you've also probably noticed the really pretty bright colors, these bandings. Now this, that's because this snake impersonates a deadly coral snake. So it tries to look very venomous, even though it's completely harmless. And a coral snake would look, if I get a rubber one, a bit like this. And there's a saying, red next to yellow, killer fellow, because you can see it's got red and yellow on the coral snake, red and black, friend of Jack. And you can see Elsa is just exploring. She's not scared, but she's just always on the go. She just keeps moving. I better go and save her, because she's probably disappearing out of shot. Oh, I got her. Here you go. Now these are amazing snakes. Really pretty, always on the go, but that scale is just like a grass snake. Now we've only got three species of snake in this country. We have the adder, which are our only venomous snake. We have grass snakes, which we've talked about, and smooth snakes. Now smooth snakes are very rare. They only occur in a few small places, so it's very unlikely that you're going to see a smooth snake. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing these though. You can see Willow is an expert reptile handler and she's perfect with all the snakes. She helps me with everything. She's absolutely brilliant. So uh, if you do see a snake out and about, enjoy the experience. Look at it, take some photos of it. Just don't disturb it and then go off and tell everybody about it because it's a great experience. It's a really amazing thing to do and we still love going out and finding snakes, don't we? Yeah. And we're really lucky because we see quite a few grass snakes and adders really close to our house. So that's cool. So uh, maybe we'll see everybody in the next uh, video, shall we? Yes. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon, alright? Take care. Bye. Bye.